Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Higher Revision video. There's 38 days going to your GCSE Maths exam, so keep up the hard work, you're doing really, really well. And today we're going to focus on simultaneous equations, but we're going to focus on graphical simultaneous equations today. So we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations graphically. Now in this video, I might recommend you actually print the practice questions today, because with this topic, it's one of those ones where if you can draw them on the grid, then you can answer the simultaneous equations graphically quite easily and nicely. Um, so in this video, we're going to go through simultaneous equations, solving them graphically. I'm going to go through the video. I'm going to ask you to pause it at certain times and ask you to think about what you might try to do in that question. And then I'll explain how to do it. So in this video, we're going to do that. So let's get started. Hi, today we're going to be looking at simultaneous equations and we're going to look at how do you solve simultaneous equations graphically. So we've looked at how to solve simultaneous equations using elimination and also by using substitution whenever we looked at those nonlinear simultaneous equations. Now we're going to look at how to solve simultaneous equations graphically. So here we've got two straight line graphs. So we've got y equals 2x and y equals x plus 1. And we've been asked to use the graphs to solve the simultaneous equations y equals 2x and y equals x plus 1. Now this is quite nice because actually to find the answers, the solutions, the simultaneous equations, all we need to do is to find where the graphs intersect. So if we have a look here, the two lines clearly meet the point 1, 2. So 1, 2. That's the coordinates of the point where they meet. So remember, we've got our x coordinate, which is 1, and we've got our y coordinate, which is 2. Here, this is our x is 1 and y is 2. So that's our solution, that x equals 1 and y equals 2. And they're the solutions to our simultaneous equations. So if we want to solve simultaneous equations graphically, all we need to do is to draw their graphs and find where they intersect. And where they intersect will be the solution or solutions. And that's it. Okay, let's have a look at another question. Okay, so this time we've been asked to draw suitable lines on this grid to solve the simultaneous equations y equals 3 minus x and y equals 2x minus 3. So let's draw these graphs to begin with, and then once we draw the graphs, let's see if they intersect and where they intersect. So let's start off by drawing this graph, y equals 3 minus x. So let's draw a little xy table, xy, and we've got 0, 1, 2. And so to find the y number, we're going to do 3 subtract the x number. So 3 take away 0 is 3, 3 take away 1 is equal to 2, and 3 take away 2 is equal to 1. So we've got our point 0, 3, so 0, 3, 1, 2, so 1, 2, and 2, 1, so 2, 1. So we've got three points, and now let's draw a nice straight line through them. Okay, so that's the graph of y equals 3 minus x. Now let's draw our other one. So we've got y equals 2x minus 3. So we want to draw this graph. Now we could use the same thing, use an xy table. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this graph in a different way. I'm going to be using the fact that it's y equals mx plus c. So we've got the gradient of 2. So remember, y equals mx plus c. We remember, you could do an xy table here, but I'm going to use y equals mx plus c. So we've got y equals mx plus c. So that means this line will have a gradient of 2, and I'll have a y-intersect of minus 3. So let's go to our y-intersect of minus 3. So minus 3 here so that's one point on the line and also we know the gradient of the lines too so that means if we go one unit across and up two that'll be our next point across one up two across one up two and so on so we've now got four points on that line so let's get a ruler and pencil and draw a nice straight line through them so that's the graph y equals 2x minus 3. And again, you could have drawn an xy table, but I just used the y equals mx plus c to draw that line. Now, we've been asked to solve the simultaneous equation. So this is our solution here. This is the point 2, 1. So that means that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. And that's it. So that means that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. And that's it. So if we want to solve these simultaneous equations, we just need to draw them and find where they intersect. And that's it. And in this case, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. OK, let's have a look at a question now for you to try. So the question says, use graphs to solve the simultaneous equations 2x plus y equals 4 and x plus 4y equals 16. So feel free to press pause now to work out this question and solve it graphically. OK, so let's start off by drawing the graph of 2x plus y equals 4. So I'm going to do a little xy table for this, and I'm going to choose values for x, such as 0, 1, 2, and see what we get. So whenever x is equal to 0, 2 times 0 is equal to 0, so you've got 0, plus y is equal to 4. So that means that y would be equal to 4, so y is equal to 4. If x is equal to 1, you've got 2 times 1, which is 2, so we've got 2 plus y is equal to 4. So that means that y would be equal to 2, so y is equal to 2. And if x is equal to 2, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, so you've got 4 plus y is equal to 4, so it means that y is equal to 0. So we've got some points. We've got 0, 4, we've got 1, 2, and we've got 2, 0. So there are points. Now let's draw a nice straight line through them. And that's the graph of 2x plus y equals 4. So we've drawn our first line. Now let's draw our next one, which is x plus 4y equals 16. So again, let's draw an xy table for that. 
So we've got x and y, and 0, 1, 2. So if x is equal to 0, you've got 0 plus 4y equals 16. So 0 plus 4y is equal to 16. So that means we've got 4y equals 16. And divided by 4, we get y is equal to 4. So y is equal to 4. If x is equal to 1, we've got 1 plus 4y equals 16. If we take away 1 and take away 1, we're going to get that 4y equals 15. And if we divide by 4, we get that's equal to 3.75. So it's 3.75. So 3.75. And if x is equal to 2, well, 2 plus 4y equals 16. If we take away our 2 from both sides, we get 4y equals 14. And then if we divide by 4, we get that y is equal to 3.5. So that means we've got 0, 4. We've got 1, 3.75. We've got 2, 3.5. We'd have 3 and 0 0.25. We'd have 4 and 3 and so on. And then if we just get our ruler and pencil and draw a nice straight line through those points, and that's the graph of x plus 4y equals 16. And as you can see, the two graphs made at the point 0, 4. So that means that x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4. So that's our answer is that x is equal to 0 and that y is equal to 4. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Now this time, rather than having two linears, we've got a quadratic and a linear. So we've been given a quadratic graph showing us y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. And we've been asked to solve the simultaneous equations y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3 and y equals 2x plus 1. And we need to solve these simultaneous equations. And feel free to press pause now to try this question yourself. Now the quadratic's been drawn four, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the linear graph, y equals 2x plus 1, and then we'll find where the quadratic and the linear meet. Okay, so to draw this graph, we could do an xy table, but I know the gradient's equal to 2 and the y-intercept's equal to 1. So the y-intercept's equal to 1, so let's plot that point 1. Now we know the gradient's equal to 2, so if we go across one unit, we go up 2. We go across one unit, we go up 2, and so on. And likewise, if we go back one, we can go down two, and so on. So if we get our ruler and pencil, we can now just draw a nice straight line through those. So we've got our quadratic, our y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. And we've got our straight line graph, y equals 2x plus 1. So to solve the simultaneous equations, we just need to find where they intersect. So here, we've got one point here. So this point here, it's the point negative 2, negative 3. So negative 2, negative 3. So x is equal to negative 2, and y is equal to negative 3. That's one solution. And in terms of the other point where they intersect, up here, so we've got the point with the coordinates 2, 5. So it means that x is equal to 2, and y is equal to 5. So that means our solutions are x equals 2, and y equals 5, and our other solution is x equals negative 2, and y equals negative 3. So there are two solutions, the x equals 2 and y equals 5, and or, or x equals negative 2 and y equals negative 3. And that's it, there are solutions. So all we done was we drew the linear graph and just found where they intersected. Okay, let's have a look at one last question. Okay, and let's have a look at our last question. So we've got a quadratic, and it's got equation y equals 2x squared minus x minus 2. And we've been asked to solve the simultaneous equations y equals 2x squared minus x minus 2, and y equals minus 4x. So feel free to press pause and to solve this now. Okay, so the quadratic y equals 2x squared minus x minus 2 has been drawn for us. So we just need to draw the graph of y equals minus 4x. So we could do an xy table. So we could do x and y. And we could choose some values of x, such as minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. And let's get our values for y. So y is equal to minus 4 times x. We're going to multiply all these by minus 4. So minus 2 times minus 4 would be 8. Minus 1 times minus 4 would be 4. 0 times minus 4 would be 0, and minus 4 times 1 would be minus 4. So we've got some points, let's plot them. So minus 2, 8 would be up there. That's great, actually you can see that's going to be our solution. <laughs> minus 1, 4 would be there. We've then got 0, 0, the origin, and then we've got 1, minus 4, which is actually down there somewhere. So let's draw a graph. So we've drawn our graph of y equals minus 4x, and as you can see, we've got two points of intersection. You've got this point up here, which is the point with coordinates negative 2, 8. So that means x equals negative 2 and y equals 8. And we've got this point here, which is, if you look at it, it's a half and it's negative 2. So it's going to be a half, negative 2. So it's the point with coordinates a half, negative 2. And that's it. So x equal to half and y is equal to negative 2. So there are solutions. The x equals negative 2 and y equals 8. And x equals a half and y equals negative 2. So there are solutions. And if you got those, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've looked at graphical simultaneous equations and how to use those graphs to find out the solutions to the simultaneous equations. I really hope you found this video useful. And as I mentioned before, I'd highly recommend the practice questions today because perhaps there might be one line drawn for you and then you just need to plot the other one and then find out where they intersect to find the solutions to the simultaneous equations. Or it might even be that you might have a quadratic and then you're drawing a straight line and finding out where the solutions are there and so on. 
So there's 38 days to go to GCSE Maths exam. Keep up the hard work. You're doing really, really well. I just want to remind you that if there's any extra revision sessions in school or opportunities to make sure you can try and get to those because the, you know what your teacher goes through in those sessions might be the topic that comes up in the exam. So any extra sessions that are available for you in school, try to get yourself along to. But keep up the hard work and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Cheers. Bye.